What's going on guys? Uh, as you can tell, this video is about Kennedy Space Center and our visit there after Christmas. Uh, if you didn't check the first video out of our trip to Florida, be sure to check that out. Uh, we traveled down, stayed in Savannah a night, um, stayed in Titusville, went back to Savannah. Anyway, we, we show all the campgrounds we stayed at and a few things we did when we were there. Uh, but this video we cover Kennedy Space Center and how great it is. It's awesome. There's a lot of stuff to do. We were worried the kids wouldn't have a lot to do and they may not like it, but we were totally wrong on that. Great place for kids. Great place for families. Price is about like going to a theme park. And you can think of this more as a, a museum mixed with a theme park. Lots of stuff for kids to do, but at the same time, lots of history, lots of things to learn about, amazing things to see. Uh, it was great, which I'm kind of into this stuff, so it, you know, I loved it. Uh, you could easily spend two days there. Thanks, Brian and Kira, even though we didn't take your advice. But. <laughs> we didn't plan enough time to be in Florida, so we only went for one day. You could easily spend two days there and never run out of things to see, so... This is when we first walked in uh, the Astronaut Hall of Fame and basically the main campus of Kennedy Space Center. So check it out. So the clip you just saw was most of the main campus at the visitor center of Kennedy Space Center. Kind of a lot to say. Uh, but anyway, really cool place. They have a kid-friendly playground kind of deal where you can play on the planets and the sun and, and all kinds of stuff. It's called Planet Play. The kids absolutely loved it. We had to go back for a second round. And then we ate at the Orbit Cafe. The food was really good. Obviously, it's pricey. That's just kind of how things are when you go to these places, theme parks and stuff. You know that. So next up, we hop on a bus and we head out to the Saturn V Apollo building or center, whatever it's called. This was really cool. I absolutely enjoyed it. Uh, check it out in these clips here. This is the fire engine. Launch control for the Apollo mission. This is not a mock-up. These are the very consoles we sat at when men first took off to fly to the moon.
so that was the Apollo and Saturn V Center. Uh, just amazing. The Saturn V rocket is huge. It, it just, it's unbelievable. You have to see it for yourself. Go see it. It's great. Uh, after that, we caught the bus back to the main campus. And this is where it really hit home for me because growing up as a kid, I really loved seeing space shuttles. And we got to see the space shuttle center. Maybe that's what it's called. I don't know. Where the space shuttles were, Space Shuttle Atlantis. Uh, really cool. I just remember these things as a kid, seeing them launch, seeing the doors open with the crane come out. Uh, really neat. The Hubble telescope, there was a, a replica of that there. Cool stuff. So here's a few clips of the Space Shuttle Atlantis and the entire area there. is Kennedy Space Center. Awesome place. Whole family enjoyed it. We ran out of time. I think it's open from 9 to 6 and we got there a little after 9 and we left just before 6. We spent the entire day there. We missed probably two or three different exhibits that I really wanted to see but it's okay. We'll head back some other time. I highly recommend going there. Uh, if you're headed down to Florida everybody thinks of Disney. Um, maybe they don't really think of Kennedy Space Center, but it is worth going to. Uh, you can learn a little history and they have playgrounds and stuff for the kids. It's a lot of fun and it's just, uh, it's a different place to go. It wasn't extremely crowded. There were a lot of people, but it wasn't terrible. Uh, it was just awesome. And you're also near the beach, so you can go to Cocoa Beach and go play on the, on the beach. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. We're getting so close to a thousand subscribers. Uh, it's taken a long time, but it's been so worth it and a lot of fun. Uh, for everyone who comments and uh, likes our videos, I really appreciate that. We all really appreciate it. It's, it's a lot of fun to interact with everyone. Uh, it's nice to know that folks are watching the videos and, and watching the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And we'll catch you next time.